Hello again. Today we are going to go over 1.7 transformations in the coordinate plane. So if you don't have your notebook out, go ahead and pull it out. Okay? So our objective for today is to identify reflections, rotations, and translations. And we're also going to graph transformations on the coordinate plane. First of all, what is a transformation? All it is is a change in the position, size, or shape of a figure. The pre-image is the original figure, and the image is the new figure, or the figure after the reflection. For the next three, rotation, reflection, and translation, go ahead, you don't need to write it down, the definitions, just say see next page. So now we're getting into the interesting stuff. So first of all, a reflection is a flip across a line, okay? So if I'm going to reflect triangle ABC across this line here, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at where B lies, I'll do that one first, and B goes to the line of reflection and I'm going to go past it the exact same amount. So this is what we call B prime. This first one is the pre-image and we are drawing the image. So this one has a B with a little tick mark on it, that means prime. That means it's the new figure that's been drawn. A prime is going to be from A to the line of reflection and then past the line of reflection the same amount which looks to be about there, we call that A prime. C prime is the same thing, to the line of reflection, past the same amount, so this is C prime. So when I connect the dots between A, B, and C, that's what I get. So this is the image, and this one is the pre-image. So when we talk about when we talk about mapping, we say triangle ABC maps onto, that's what this little thing means, maps onto triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay? Now, what if you're on a graph? So if we're on a graph, then what you do, so here's my xy coordinate graph. Let's say I wanted to take 2, 3. So here's my point 2, 3. And I want to reflect it in the x-axis. So my line of reflection is here. Okay, that's my line of reflection. So I'm going to go to the line of reflection, and in this case I go 1, 2, 3 to the line of reflection. So that means I need to go 1, 2, 3 past the line of reflection. My new point is to negative 3. So if this point here is A, this one would be A prime. So here's my pre-image, and here's my image. The next one is rotation. A rotation is a turn about a point. So if I have my, my rectangle here, D, E, F, G, and I want to rotate it about this point here, call it point P, what we do in this case is we take each piece, so I'm going to take our G here, and I'm going to go to the point there, and I'm going to rotate it, I'm going to attempt to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise. So I'm going to go to the line, of, or to the point, and I go past the point 90 degrees. See, this is a 90 degree here. And there's my new point, we'll call that G prime. Okay? And then F, we go to, and then we go past it, and we call this F prime. And if we do that to all of them, then our, oops, I made that a little long, that's okay. Make that a little shorter here. 
If we rotate all four points, then this one here is D prime, and this is E prime. So this figure has rotated 90 degrees clockwise. CW stands for clockwise. So when we say it mapping, we say DEFG maps onto, that's what this little arrow means, D prime, E prime, F prime, and G prime. Okay? On a graph, if we were to look at it on a graph and we were to rotate, we're going to get into the graphing at a different point, but basically if you had a graph uh, let's say we had the point 1, 2, and we wanted to show the rotation of 1, 2. Also, we'll do 90 degrees again. Then we're going to go to the origin, and then we're going to go past the origin at a 90 degree turn. And don't worry about doing this right now. In a different chapter, we'll get into the more specifics on how to do this. I just want to show you what it would look like. So this would be uh, 2, negative 1 would be the 90 degree turn. Okay? Slide is in a direction. So in this case, we're going to take 8, or that's translation. So H, I, J, K, we're going to slide it up, and we're going to put it up here. So basically, it doesn't change anything. It stays in the same order, and um, these are all primes now. This is my image. That's my pre-image. So that's just a drag and a drop, okay? And we're, when we uh, say that H, I, J, K maps onto H prime, I prime, J prime, K prime, okay? Just like the others. So on a graph, this is something that I want to make sure that you know about. On a graph, if I have a point... Let's do negative 2, positive 3. So we'll call that A, negative 2, 3. And let's say I want to move this in this direction. Here I go. This is what it's going to say. It's going, here's my rule. I want to take my each x, y, and I want to translate it so that I have x plus 3 and y minus 4. Whoops y minus 4. Okay? So I'm going to take each of these, po each point, in this case I only have one point, and I'm going to count 3 on the x-axis positive, so that means we go 1, 2, 3, so there's 3 on the x, so that's plus 3, and then in this case we go y minus 4, so we're going to go down. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, down. So that's minus 4, y minus 4. So my new point would be here, which is 1, negative 1. You can also take a look at it, and if my, new, my old point, my pre-image was negative 2, 3, I want to take negative 2, and, and I want to add 3 to that x. So negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Then I'm going to take my y, and I'm going to subtract 4 from that y. So 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So that's how to do it that. So basically, it's going to be, the rule is that if it's x, y, then it translates to x plus some number a and y plus some number b. And sometimes this b is negative, like it is up here, which is why it turns into a minus instead of a plus. So those are the three types of... Um, Transla transformations. We have reflection, rotation, and translation. So cover up the top of the page. See if you can just do a really quick picture sketch showing each of these. So cover this up with your hand and try and do these three on your own without looking. And that's the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching.